Okay, so now we'll be looking at behaviorism in developmental psychology and Watson and Skinner's ideas. So basically, um, this is an example of a learning theory, as well as the next one we'll look at for social learning, uh, which means they kind of look at this sense of continuity through development, and you only kind of develop through this learning. Now, they're environmentalists in the sense that we've got the nature, nature debate, don't think of it as the tree, think of it as nature, okay, as uh, genetics. But they're all about development, nurture, okay? And the way we um, develop through the different, you know, physical parts of our lives, our behavior, that's why it's behaviorism. Okay, and it's everything's very objective, and you don't even talk about cognition, because we can't directly study it. Now, Watson kind of applied the classic Pavlovian stuff for learning. So, uh, remember Pavlov was the guy with the bells, and he rang it and he conditioned them. So, whenever he rang the bells, uh, the dogs salivated. And Watson took that and got a little, a little out of it. Okay, and um, gave him a little fluffy white rat, which he really liked. And then he got this massive gong and bashed a metal stick against it. And then he made a massive, a really loud noise, which of course scared Albert, little Albert, and was uh, because he was introduced with a rat every time, he got scared of the rat. But not only did it associate it with a rat, it really associated the fear with anything that's similar to the rat in any way. If it was white, if it was fluffy, showing that we have these external uh, learning mechanisms when we develop. Skinner took it a little different with operant conditioning. So this was classical conditioning, this is operant conditioning. With operant conditioning, it's just all about reinforcement and punishment. Okay, so if someone does something that uh, you reward, then you're going to do it more and more, right? and opposite with punishment. Uh, however, punishment is kind of undesirable in the development. Okay, maybe if we're studying in rats or whatever, but not very good for development. And um, really, it's all about this kind of different types of reinforcement, which uh, we'll, we'll, look, we'll look back later on, on the learning part, but all you gotta remember is that developmentally, behaviorism is a learning theory, and it's... Uh, advocates kind of this continuous change as opposed to the stage theorists, which we'll look at in a bit, which say, you know, first there's this, and then there's this other thing, this other part in your life that you go on to. It's not this flowing process like the behaviorists think, okay? <clears throat> and uh, like we said, it's all about na nurturing, not nature. And we'll continue next time with social learning and Bandura's cognitive behavior theory. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.